Hi everyone. I want to thank you for joining us on this um, homemade video. Um, now that you know what I look like as a contented and busy retiree, um, I can talk about what makes me comfortable and then extend that to you as a nurse and as a family member and your patients and their families. So for an example, uh, the taxonomic structure of comfort is useful to describe the real meaning of a holistic sense of comfort. Right now, I'm at ease. I take measures to stay that way by using uh, medical interventions, i.e. medicine, to keep me healthy and to use coping mechanisms uh, to keep my mental health on as even keel as possible. Um, when these fail and I get sick, I need relief from my symptoms. So, so ease is the state where I prefer to stay, um, but sometimes relief is needed. And it can be in any of the four contexts, which we'll discuss in just a minute. If I get seriously out of balance and my usual strategies don't work, I can uh, hope for some motivational reading or support from friends to help me transcend my symptoms until they finally go away. <clears throat> and that's what we try to do with ourselves our family members, and our patients. So we never give up as nurses um, when we are interacting with patients who need various types of relief in a very stressful healthcare situation. My husband and I also know the importance of physical, psycho-spiritual, socio-cultural, and environmental comfort, the other part of the taxonomic structure. That led us uh, to our choice of housing in our retirement, which is a small bungalow with a master bedroom, master bathroom, and laundry all on the first floor. So we are at an extreme state of ease right now. We know it might not last forever, but it, right now it's pretty great. If I needed a knee surgery, for example, it will be a relief to me and my uh, physical therapy team to know that I don't have to go up steps to get to the bathroom or to take a bath, that I can manage my own laundry pretty soon after I get home and um, make a smooth recovery without a lot of adaptations to our home. So that is in anticipation of not always being completely healthy um, and to preserve our joint health as it is right now. All of these strategies combine to create a holistic approach to health and it's the same for nurses who want to comfort their patients and their patients families. The empirical reason why we should be given time to do this with our patients is that the patients will do better if they are comforted and if they have nurses who uh, are supportive and help them transcend their immediate uh, needs for relief. The nurse will take account of the medical diagnosis, the medical therapies that are uh, written the um, abilities of the patients to carry out those therapies, and how much information in addition to what they already understand is needed for a uh, complete informed decision on their parts and their families. The supervisors, your bosses in most cases, or maybe you are the boss, need to understand that to give this kind of holistic care that patients hope for in the fam in the hospital 
and their families hope will happen need additional time and uh, support from you to do this non-technical type of nursing. Many cases in nursing school, we're taught all about the technical interventions and skills, and the instructors just forget all about the important comforting skills that actually mean just as much to the patient, if not more, than the technical skills. And so I call that intentional care to comfort patients, in addition to the technical care, best practice as a nurse. And this is the highest level of nursing care and is usually performed somewhat intuitively and smoothly by expert nurses. And I think those expert nurses uh, demonstrate this type of comforting care without even realizing it sometimes. They make it look easy, but it isn't easy for beginners. And the beginners need to start being cognizant of all of the types of uh, aspects of comfort that are important to the patients. And those are all found in the taxonomic structure. Now that you found this brief intro, I want to encourage you to view the numerous other videos that are available by Googling comfort theory plus YouTube. I was amazed that there are so many. Most have been posted by patients or um, students um, in a play acting role. I have seen one that play acts me, but and they, she looks very official with a lab coat and she never says that she's not me. So I wanted you to make sure you know who you're looking at when you check out these videos. It's been fun for me to explore what's available out there as far as uh, teaching implements. And it's been fun for me to add to my website in this way. Thank you for listening. Bye.